Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just kind of fill up the space in this room here. Um, the first thing, let's uh, let's start with um, putting in a doorway. Okay, something very simple, very easy. Let's go to basic primitives. Now, when you do this, you can do it a couple different ways. I would do, let's, I would just draw a door frame in here. Let's put a door in here. And again, this is not drawn to scale. It's just kind of me putting around here. So, um, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually uh, place the door in there. And then let's go over on this side. And I'm just going to do another box. Let's do a window. So, we're just going to put a window up there. And uh, that looks good, like so. And um, I'll center the window, of course. And then uh, we'll put some picture frames up. So let's just make some real quick. And let's uh, rotate this one 90 degrees. And let's move this back over here, put this, and move it up like so. So there's, we've got a picture frame. And so these are just, just placements for now. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is let's zoom down here. Um, first of all, real quick, I'm just going to put a lamp um, in the dresser here. Uh, really simple. Um, Again, go with your, your line shapes. And you know, it can have as much as as you want or don't want, or you know, something like so. So let's just do something very simple shape and uh, let's lay that. And uh, let's do minimum. And there's our really ugly lamp. So we're just going to put that up there. Um, something simple we can do. Um, and it's really, really easy. Instead of doing a lampshade like this, what we can do is actually just do a cylinder. Um, let's zoom in on this. I'm going to center the cylinder off of here. And uh, like so. And let's move that up. And I don't need this many splines in there, height segments. And let's just lower this to be an easier number. And I just want to raise this so it looks like a decent lamp anyway. Um, and then convert it to an editable poly. And uh, we're just going to select the top. Scale the top down, and then uh, we can just delete the top, roll down, and delete the bottom. So that's pretty much our lampshade. Um, we can apply a two-sided material to that, or we can we can um, I think we can try this. Um, there is a modifier in here called. Oh, give me a second here. Shell, right there it is. Um, and what we can do with shell is basically um, control, and there you've just shelled your your thing. Now it's a two-sided poly, so we're good to go. And if you want, you can actually do beveled edges and, and all that other fun stuff. Okay, so we're we're done with that. We're gonna move on. Um, picture frame, convert to an editable poly zoom into it and I'm just going to do this real quick here um, go in polygon mode select the polygon inset and we're going to just uh, extrude and we're going to just extrude it inward a little bit and there's just a real simple picture frame you can add more bevel if you want or do what you want to it um, you can also do a spline lathe with four sides. Um, I've done that before. Um, you got to angle it though a little bit differently. 
Um, let's go to the window. So for the window, let's grab the window. Um, this is your outer frame. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, kind of do this a little bit differently. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to just put in one segment in here. Um, we're going to move this edible poly, grab this segment, pull it down, grab that edge. Oops, it helped to actually grab edges here. Grab that edge, extrude that edge out, just a hair, and that's our, our window shell. Um, if you want you, some windows, you have that uh, double double edge loop here. And we can uh, extrude this outward just a hair. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, let's grab this one and let's inset this. And, you know, you can go in and play how you want with this. Um, most windows actually, though, have this line here. And this is actually dropped down a little bit more. Um, go in and grab this again. And let's extrude this inward. Like so. And, um, you know, that's, that's okay for now. Um, and then, you know, real simple, actually. Let's just clone to an object. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this object in here. Um, grab the bottom element of this. Move it up. And... Like so, and really quickly, let's connect and let's. Uh, we're going to go up to two, we're going to move the two outward. We're going to grab, let's see, we're going to save that at zero and say okay, and then. Let's, see, let's go OK. Let's grab this one and this one here again. And let's uh, do the same thing, except we're going to go in reverse. Uh, connect. Instead of inside, we're going to go outside like so. And say OK. Let's grab this one and let's uh, ring these. Again, connect. Inside, actually, let's do outside here. And OK. Grab that. Connect. And let's do the inside. And then, really simple, grab this. Now everything's selected. Hold it Alt minus the four panels. And let's just. Bevel that and hold in shift, drag, say OK, and let's move this inward a little bit. So there's your window. And if you want, you can paint your scene. We can we can hollow out the box. I can show you how to do that. Um, just want to go over here, do the door real quick. Um, Actually, let's do let's do before we do the door. Let's do this. Um, let's uh, zoom in on this, and let's do a. Uh, this is our box. Let's go to Edit Poly here. And this is something really simple that we can do. Uh, where is that? Poly? Where is that? Poly? Um, 
go grab the edge like so grab the select all and then pretty much minus the walls and let's see if we can get the oops not connect Here, all. Uh, let's undo, undo, undo. Okay, so we've got the edges. Let's grab here and let's chain for them. Um, we're gonna chain for two. Actually, I think. Let's take a look up with a close section here. And yeah, we're going to grab the two and two in the bottom, and that looks good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say OK. And then this is where it gets kind of weird. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, we'll keep on the, we'll keep the two on there. Um, what we're going to do is go in here. That's here. And I don't know why that didn't select all, but let's uh, and then okay, so there's that. Let's go in here. Grab oh, something's not right. Hold on while I fix alright, sorry about that. Um uh, basically I just chamfered the bottom here. Um then what you want to do is you want to go grab this. Ed, uh, middle loop and pretty much just loop it or all the way around um, I can do the same thing if you want you can grab the middle loop up here too and you can loop this all the way around and then what you want to do really simple you want to scale inward a little bit this way and you want to scale inward a little bit this way okay and that should bevel the edges out so that you get more of a uh, the trim and stuff on there all right back to the door really simple grab the door um, this is our door frame so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to just actually move this out and I'm going to move it so I don't have to cut everything. So I'm removed it just a little bit thicker than the the door, if you will. And uh, I'm gonna actually clone it once without moving it. And actually, let's just um, actually undo that aspect. Let's make our door real quick. Um, so I just wanna make the temp simple uh, four by four door here. So I'm just gonna plan this a little bit. Um, so let's see here. We've got, I want uh, five by five. That gives me two in the, in the middle. So then basically what I can do, convert this into edible poly. And grab these four. Scale them downward towards each other. Grab these. Scale them upward. Grab these two. Scale them inward. Grab uh, like so. And then, really simple, let's just grab these four and do a bevel inward. Like so, and then you can put a door frame on there if you want. Um, the door frame is uh, we can do a couple different ways. Um, the easiest, simplest way, uh, what I would do is simply just do a box. And I know this sounds. Yeah, well, let's do it this way. Um, go here. Go to the top. Let's zoom in on the door at the top. Alright, and then 
Let's create a line. Go straight, straight. All right, so there's my line, say yes. Okay, now let's go back to this. Go here, go to extrude the line. And extrude. And we're just gonna go up to like so. Now, the nice thing about this is, let's look at this. See, now you've got a lot of segments in here. You don't necessarily need to keep those segments. What we can do is um, we can actually um, move this up a little bit here. And then we can add an edit poly on there. And this is how you pretty much add your stack. So we grab this and um, move that like so. So it's a little bit with the door. And then this is where it kind of gets tricky. Now, if we angle it like so, you're going to skew the, the door a little bit. So basically, then what you have to do is you have to scale it back outward. All right. Um, so for whatever you angle it, like so, if we want a 45 or close to it, you have to skew the angle. So, And you can kind of tell rough estimate. And then, um, so what we can do is extrude that edge a little bit. And this is where it gets kind of funky. So I'm going to extrude it, and I'm going to rotate. And again, your, your snap should be on. So if I rotate this, so that's, you know, 45 or 50 or whatever, whatever you need to be at move it downward and again scale accordingly so just keep moving it down so if this is my door you just might need to scale it a little bit upward and so basically like so find the rough center um, and actually you can actually delete that face go off of polygon mode and then this is a cool thing symmetry Let's add symmetry in there Let's do let's do the uh, where we got here. Let's do the mirror and let's do the flip, of course, so that we can see it. And you pretty much just attach it like so, and everything's all there for you. And so, if you don't like it, you can add it, edit poly on there, and switch. So there's your door frame. Oh, and one more thing, uh, you know, like light switches, uh, electrical plugs, you can add those all in there too. Um, but that's basically this in a nutshell. Um, you know, I can add I can add a little bit more, I can do a little bit more to this if I want, you know, throw rugs, you know, toys, things like that. But it's pretty much the same thing. It's just extrude, bevel, you know, cut. I haven't really cut anything a whole lot because these are basic shapes. But this is a good idea to give you the basics of what you're doing. Um, next, what I'll do is I'll show you how to unwrap, and so we can render just a template and do some cool things like that. All right, and see you in the next tutorial.